Hello and welcome back to chapter 7, lecture number 13. So we applied a uh, texture on the roofing and now I want to focus on the square building. Uh, needs the texture as well. So we already uh, append the material, so they're sharing the same one. Uh, but now we need to add some uh, UV maps. So we select everything and press a projection. We make a projection from U. And this is one that's bigger. So let's try something like this. And we go to the side view. And now I'm going to hide my uh, cylinder all building. Because it's a little bit distracting. So I want to select these and these you a project from you all right and now we select the both both of them control l and we need to align these with the other one something like this and then move it Yes. So I skipped the uh, border right there because we're doing this by hand. But we now have a texture on the front and the sides, but we have these as well. So same as the previous one, I like to align these. So they are matching and make a projection. We scale it bit wider and something like this will do and solid view we need to select these and the other one and go to the wireframe and put them in line and make a projection Whoosh. And make it a bit wider. So let's take a look how that looks. Maybe a bit stretched, but uh, it looks good to me. I want to select the corners, and this takes some time. So let's start with uh, these. And they're bind together. So what we do is we drag these to the top, scale this a little bit. And then you select that one, which is really tall, and rotate it. Perfect. So that's one. Um, I'm missing some depth in the ceiling. So the same what we did with uh, the, the other roof. So what we need to do with this one as well. We add an X, uh, we add an edge line, and we pushing this a little bit out of the uh, building, so we have some nice sharp um, uh, edge line in this roof. Same for this one. Control R, edge line. So we go to the side, and we just drag this outside, and we have one more right there, and push it right there. Cool. And we go to the render tab, looks better. So we probably should do this after, <laughs> but it doesn't matter, we just have to select more faces. Uh, just scale these inside of this border. And we continue doing this. As Y, as much texture as we can have on it. Good. So I will pause the video and you can continue to add these uh, ceilings on the roof. So uh, good luck and we'll be back in a second. All right, so I finished uh, by adding the ceiling on the tower. Great. So I hope this uh, worked out for you as well. It's uh, very important you're doing this right. And I saw I just forgot to add an extra act line on one of these sides. So uh, I fixed that uh, in the meantime. So let's bring our cylindrical tower back. And let's do some naming. Let's call this roof. And we have, <laughs> we lost our 
other roof. Roof. So. Roof. Uh, cylinder. All right, and we have to bring this move to the collection buildings. Uh, roof. Main. It's just sort of sample naming. One, two, three, four. All right, so we have two towers. The tower on the right will be duplicated three times, and there is just one tower of this. But we're not there yet, because we need to, uh, we keep changing the roof material and the material on this tower. But I think it's now time to focus on the main windows. So that will take some time to make. Uh, we spent some time in chapter five uh, on the windows for the farmhouse, and these one will slightly will be slightly different. Uh, we're going to create a hatch. So uh, prepare yourself to do some window work. Uh, but I think you're going to like this definitely. All right, see you in the next lecture. Bye bye.